The botanical studies are a series of portraits of medicinal herbs to treat the physical consequences of the lack of space and valuation of everything that is considered feminine in society. The paintings were inspired by a book that I read by Linda Crockett called Healing Our Hormones, Healing Our Lives. And when I was reading through it, I got the impression that a lot of the problems that women have are linked to the social situation of women. Centuries of injustice have created sediments of anger. That it's, very, it's very difficult as a woman to escape that. It's, in, it's probably in our genetic code. And uh, at the same time, we lack role models um, in society because there has been an, a, a deletion from history and an inability to do things in societies that have been quite oppressive towards women. In the green series, I have four herbs, well, three herbs that are used to detoxify the liver, dandelion, milk thistle, and burdock. Belladonna is not a cleanser of the liver. It's uh, toxic and it's used sometimes as an antispasmodic. But the reason I have it here, it's because Italian women centuries ago used it in their eyes, they used the drop of um, the juice of the fruit in their eyes to dilate their pupils and appear more attractive. And uh, to me, that's a reflection of how far are you willing to go to appear more attractive to others? Um, are you willing to poison yourself? And if you are, and if you have done that, then you can take the, the cleansing herbs to remedy your mistake. The white series is the calming series. Here I have meadow sweet, valeria root, lime blossom and yarrow. They're all used to calm something, to calm the lungs, to calm the nerves, to help to sleep. If we are calm and we um, have a clear mind, it's easier to think and it's easier to focus on what we want to do and how we want to change our surroundings or our own life. The pink series is about centering the hormones and uh, the flow of life. If the hormones are centered, then all our life cycles flow. I have decided that, that it's like the soul centered in the painting. So I see the pink series as a centering, a focusing on the aims, the goals to achieve a better society. One of the herbs in the group is Agnes Castor's. It was dedicated to the goddess of earth, maternity and life cycles in ancient Greece. And it was also thought to ward off evil. The last series is the orange series. It focuses on pleasure and play, sexual pleasure and playfulness in general, enjoyment of food. But this links a traditional use of herbs to heal with use of cooking to heal and promote good health. Also the enjoyment of eating together and uh, celebrating together. They can all be used in, in curries and soups. And um, all of them have in common that they increase sexual stimulation in women. Orange is the color of joy and in Ayurvedic medicine, the orange chakra is the chakra of creativity. And um, in this case, they have used them to represent fun and joy along the way.